multivariate data analysis. Cluster analysis using SPSS. Cluster analysis is an explorative data analysis tool for organizing observed data into meaningful clusters based on combination of variables. Cluster analysis using SPSS. For doing this cluster analysis, I am using an example of job satisfaction. In this example, I have five variables, age, work experience, route towards job, expert at job and job satisfaction. The purpose of cluster analysis is to group the cases into different clusters. In this example, I have total 384 respondent data is there and I want to divide this 384 respondents into different clusters based on these five variables. In these five variables, two variables are continuous data and remaining three data is Likert scale. First data is age, second is work experience and third, fourth, fifth are Likert scale. I have asked the questions like I love my job, I am expert in my job, I am satisfied with the job and the respondent gives answer basing on three Likert scales strongly agree to strongly disagree. Now basing on these questions, how we divide the respondents into clusters is the main purpose of cluster analysis. The researcher does not have an idea like how many clusters will be formed and what are the important variables that are going to make these respondents into groups. Right. When we want to use cluster analysis, there are two methods are there. First one is hierarchical cluster method. Second one is k-mean clusters. Okay, we can see this in analysis part. When we go for classify, we have k-mean cluster and hierarchical cluster. Basically, hierarchical cluster is used when the respondent want to explore how many number of clusters will be forming? He does not have an idea how many clusters will be formed. Once the respondent have an idea, like it is going to form two clusters, three clusters, then the researcher can use k-mean cluster. So first I will use hierarchical cluster and divide this 384 respondent data into clusters and check the same thing with k-mean cluster. Before I go, I just show the data. This is the data which I, I have and I have total number of cases that is respondent data is a 384. I want to do this cluster analysis with minimum steps and an easy way of understanding how to com come to conclusion that clusters will be formed. Without object to, I am doing the analysis. I am going for analysis in this classify, in this hierarchical cluster. The variables, okay, if you want to see, can reset it and bring all the variables. To variable side. We'll go for statistics. In statistics, I'll select only one check button that is agglomeration schedule. In the analysis, I'll explain you what is agglomeration schedule. That's it, continue. 
don't go for plots in plots we'll have dendrogram instead of using dendrogram i'll explain with agglomeration the easy way to understand how many clusters will be forming so i'm not going to use any plot i'm going to remove the check button for plot for method i'll be using cluster method which is watts method this is a general method which we use for making clusters we can use other methods also watts method and interval is squared euclidean distance so these are the two important things which you must remember to do the settings watts method and interval is squared euclidean distance say continue i'm not going to save the cluster once it form because initially i'll check how many clusters will be forming later i can go for k mean cluster and i can do that saving that each responding into one clusters right i did only just two important things in statistics agglomeration and in methods these two things should be selected i'm done i'll say okay once i say okay uh, the analysis starts now here we got case processing summary total number is 384 respondents are there and 100% data is used there is no missing the important thing is agglomeration schedule in this schedule if you observe we have something like a column called stage and it runs from 1 till 383 total cases are 384 in that stages are 383 it mean will start from the bottom and come up to see how many clusters should be considered the system is taking each respondent as a cluster and sees how many clusters should be considered in the analysis for that purpose we concentrate on this column called coefficient so observe only these two columns stage and coefficient i move to the bottom of the table here i am this is stage 383 stages are there and this is coefficient now the last stage 383 i have the coefficient is 8100 and 382 case is 4200 means around nearly there is a difference of 4000 okay and if we move from 382 to 381 see the difference between this two stage coefficient from 4204 it has reduced to 2386 means a difference nearly i'm taking it really like it is nearly like uh, 2000 but when i move from 382 to 381 the difference has reduced See three eighty one to three eighty five mu. The difference has reduced to only three hundred. So in the initial case between these two stages, the difference is four thousand. Between these two stages, the difference is nearly two thousand. But when I come here, automatically it has come to three hundred. I am saying nearly. Means the difference is drastically getting reduced. so we'll take the major difference where it is happening this major jump is happening between this two that is 4200 to 2386 if i further go the jump is little the difference is little so 384 stage is considered to be major difference this is very important to understand where there is major difference in the coefficient is coming between these two it is 
4000 and between 382 to 381 is 2000 but automatically you will be seeing from 381 to 380 there is only 300 difference. So we take this 381 stage as major difference in coefficient. I will show the same thing in a form of a diagram which I drawn separately from SPSS. Okay. This diagram is not automatically generated in SPSS. We need to draw this diagram. In this diagram, you can see I have taken x axis as stages and y axis as coefficients. Okay. So, 383 stage to 382 from 8000 it has come all the way till around 4000. But 382 to 381 steeply it has jumped or dropped till 2000. From here the slope is less. We call this as a elbow and you must look at the formation of the elbow. The elbow has formed at 381. I have drawn with a red color line showing you where the elbow has been formed. This stage should be remembered. 381 is a stage where the slope is steep, very sharp. From here it is going on very less difference. I have shown them in the form of a small calculation. So, in my case total number of cases are 384 and the stage where the elbow has formed is 381. So, number of cases in my example that is going to form cluster is with this calculation that is number of cases minus number of stages. So, the number of clusters that is going to form in my example is 384 minus 381 the difference is 3. So, the cluster analysis using hierarchical cluster analysis, the total 384 cases are divided into 3 clusters. So, this is the conclusion which we do. In this example, totally we are getting 3 clusters. And now I am going to move to the next stage where I am going to use k-mean cluster and divide each case into some cluster. I am going to make each case into 